Self-driving vehicles are going to revolutionize our future mobility. We're working on the intelligence of the vehicle. We're working on smart sensing, on dynamics and control. We're working on human factors. At the same time, we are working on the smart infrastructure. How are these vehicles going to collaborate with the infrastructure and with other smart vehicles? We find that TU Delft is the perfect place for this interdisciplinary domain. Cities where pedestrians and cyclists behave quite erratically, we find that this is a high challenge for our self-driving vehicles. So what you see here is the output of the vehicle sensing, so how the vehicle sees the environment. We have a laser scanner which scans 360 degrees around the vehicle. You see myself here, uh, you see here the camera crew, um, and apart from the video, we also have uh, uh, camera data, and you see the camera data superimposed. And we can actually detect pedestrians um, by our, our system as, as shown over here. And uh, we have lots of lots of pedestrians coming from all the places and lots of cyclists. Uh, it's really very complex environment as you can see here. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of people. Um, and it makes it for a very challenging environment uh, for self-driving vehicle. At the moment, we're still driving manually but you can see here already the processing of the vehicle. You can see we can sense the environment and we can recognize pedestrians um, in front of the vehicle and poses lots of challenges for such self-driving vehicles. So what we see here, first of all, the uh, laser scanner on top, which scans 360 degrees around the vehicle and it has 64 scanning planes. All right, and so these are the two eyes uh, of the vehicle, like the human eyes. Uh, with those, you can see depth uh, very accurately. Uh, we have several more cameras uh, around the vehicle, and we have uh, a set of radars integrated in the front bumper and also in the back bumper. So this is uh, our vehicle trunk power supply, which also connects to the battery of the vehicle a high-end PC, basically for the high-level processing, and we also have another PC which is responsible for the more reactive part, for the actual control of the vehicle, of the steering, uh, and of the brakes, and uh, of the gas. I'm very excited with the team here uh, to make this uh, technology happen and have a positive impact uh, on society.